Hi, another little video about hyperopia. Um, this is about one or two of the more, um, the less well-known signs that someone could be hyperopic. Uh, so the first sign is um, a posture like this um, when you're reading, and you probably notice it in children, perhaps, but adults certainly um, can do this. Um, I mean, I I used to do this and people used to comment on it and uh, then I got glasses and um, I had a much better reading posture uh, after that but it's if your face is down in something um, it, you're just kind of trying to get close to it and trying to f find a nice angle um, with um, with hyperopia, that if it's uncorrected, it's not just the focus, um, the the angle that you look at things changes as well. It's kind of easier sometimes to look at something from a sideways angle um, while your eyes are trying to accommodate and you know overusing all those little muscles. But like I say, that does um, go away once the um, once you've had the necessary um, correction, and that was on the NCBI site. Uh, the other one, which I have mentioned in another video, is um, children, um, if they actually, once with hyperopia, will actually sit up quite close to a television, um, which might sound weird. Um, now this is actually quoted on the Appleton site, um, and again this is something I used to do myself, you know, like I'd sit like about this close to the telly, um, and it didn't make sense because I wasn't short-sighted, but um, the reason that children and people do this is because it's actually easier if you get up close to something you make the image larger obviously um, so that kind of reduces the the blurriness um, and it also reduces the need to to accommodate to see fine detail so um, the the other thing you'll, you'll see with children is like or adults. Um, I say children, but these sites are, are particularly aimed at um, children. Um, like if they're putting their face down in their food, um, it's, it's actually by making the object larger, the letter larger, um, the food larger, the, the image on the TV larger, by getting up close, um, you're just able to see it better. Um, and another sign, and I can't remember where I saw this, um, th this is a, a slightly more well-known one, but um, this is difficulty catching a ball. Um, so when, you, when you're long-sighted, um, and I mentioned in one of my other videos that before it was corrected, um, something coming towards me was very difficult um, to get obviously binocular vision that quickly because the muscles were just so overworked um, so you tend to fix and you can't see moving objects so well then especially not ones that are coming towards you so um, if your child say if you've got a child and uh, Maybe they're not keen on reading, or when they're reading, they're doing it like this. They're sitting really close to the television. They're having difficulties catching a ball. Um, well, it could be signs of short-sightedness, but conversely, it could actually be signs of um, long-sightedness. So that's my little talk for today.